the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy, one of the largest rockets in the world. And it's not often NASA's launch services program chooses to launch it. In fact, they've never launched it until now. I'm Nikki Fox, project scientist for Parker Solar Probe, and tonight you will witness up close and personal this spacecraft being launched on her journey to the sun. Watch as we encapsulate the spacecraft. As you can see, Parker Solar Probe to your left looks pretty small compared to these enormous fairing halves that protect her during launch. That is because the Delta IV was made to launch satellites the size of school buses. So why on earth would NASA need a rocket this powerful to launch our little 1,500-pound spacecraft to the sun? Speed. That's right, pure and simple. Parker Solar Probe needs the most launch power she can get to leave Earth and get to the Sun. It takes 55 times more energy to get to the Sun than Mars, and we need all of it to get into the right orbit around our star. Parker Solar Probe, built by the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, will keep her protective heat shield between herself and the Sun once she's in that orbit. The spacecraft will soar through the sun's 3 million degree plasma atmosphere that we call the corona and give our scientists some incredible data to answer long sought after questions about the sun. Back on the launch pad, United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy is just the right rocket. Three massive booster cores, a cryogenic second stage, and even a third stage specially made by Northrop Grumman to propel Parker over 94 miles per second at spacecraft separation. Liftoff in five, four, three, two, one, zero. And liftoff of the Parker Solar Probe on her way to unlock the mysteries of the sun's corona. That was awesome. Why don't we watch it again from the front side? Bye bye Parker, the coolest, hottest mission under the sun. Stay cool, baby girl. Minus 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go PSP. Minus 15. Trophy ignition. 10, 9, nine. Start. 8, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. Coming up on 
1 minute 19 seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, and Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Port and starboard booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Port booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure response looks good. Two minutes, ten seconds in. Strap-on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. And Delta IV has gone to closed loop guidance. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And at two minutes, 39 seconds into flight, the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 49 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Three minutes into flight. Our 68A engines in the port and starboard boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. Approximately two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three boosters. Port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode. Core booster continuing in the partial thrust mode. And standing by for a strap-on booster throttle down momentarily. Port and starboard boosters have begun to throttle down. And we have jettison of both strap-on boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. Four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence and one minute remaining in boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Five minutes into flight, just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase of flight. Core booster engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And standing by for core booster throttle down momentarily. Core booster has begun to throttle down. Standing by for Pico. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. And we have good indication of stage separation. Ned is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition on the RL-10 engine. Engine chamber pressure looks good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison.
now six minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And with the boost phase of flight complete, Parker Solar Probe will now continue its journey to the sun.